Hi guys, this is a quick video on how to install uh, the Palo Alto Virtual Firewall on your laptop. So I'm using uh, Oracle VM Virtual Box Manager to install it on my laptop and I've already downloaded the image. I've got 9.0.4 downloaded uh, which is uh, the latest version. Uh, you can also upgrade it to 9.0.5 here as well. So the OVA file is 9.0.4, that's the latest you can download. So if I right, uh, right click it and go to open with uh, virtual box manager and uh, I'll let it I'll give it a few seconds and it will show me the virtual appliance settings uh, so uh, yeah so here's the appliance settings uh, we can choose the name and everything else or I'm gonna leave it as default and then we've got the network adapters here so it gives you three adapters by default which is fine for me I'm gonna just import it as it is uh, so it takes a short while to import once it's imported uh, what I'll do is I'll pause the video once it's uh, imported uh, I'll start the video then uh, we will um, turn on the virtual appliance and we will just uh, log into it via the console and via the browser check a couple of things uh, just to make sure it's all working so I'll be back once this is imported Right, so the virtual appliance has been imported. What we can do is uh, click on the appliance here and we can click on start here. So the import actually was quite quick. Uh, I think this takes uh, a bit longer. Um, yeah, it takes a good few minutes, a good five minutes. So what I'll do is I will pause the video and then I will start the video once uh, the virtual appliance is uh, up and running. Right, so it's been a, a good few minutes and I uh, thought I'd start the video again um, so you can see the little process. Uh, you can see how it's uh, booting up. Uh, I might just uh, leave it on so you can uh, fast, uh, you can skip this uh, section to uh, once the uh, appliance is fully uh, up and running. So you can see at the bottom it says uh, starting pan software so I can't imagine it being uh, too much longer uh, I think another minute or two and it should be uh, maximum and it should be uh, up and running. Right so uh, actually it's uh, done within a few seconds. Um, so we get to the login uh, screen of the console. So what I can do is log in. So the uh, default username and password is admin admin. Uh, that should uh, get us in. Right, so um, this time it's taking the password. I don't know why, but it doesn't take the password for a good minute or two, uh, and then all of a sudden it starts to work. So it's asking us to enter the old password. So it's admin again, and then uh, enter new password. So I'll change the password now. I might have typed that in uh, wrong. Let me just confirm the new password. Right, okay, good stuff. So it's uh, it's logged me in. Uh, so you're at the operational mode here. We can do a question mark and you can see the operational uh, mode commands. You can type configure and then you're in configuration mode. So we just want to verify uh, the management IP address because um, the appliance, um, one of the interfaces on DHCP, so it, um, it gets the IP address and it's uh, the interface is in. Uh, it's it's on bridge, so it's uh, directly connected to my uh, network, and uh, my uh, route is on uh, 
192.168.0.0 slash 24 network so it should have a an IP address from that range so what we can do is type show interface management and we can see um, actually we can also see the MAC addresses here as well so we can see the IP address 192.168.0.13 and we can see the MAC address and the last six um, entries of the MAC address is 5B, A, B, 2C uh, why I like to see that is because we can have a look at the machine, the OVA uh, file, the, the, the network adapters of the virtual machine and uh, see which network adapter it's using as the uh, the management interface so adapter 1 uh, if we break down advanced we can see the MAC address here and uh, what we can do is match the MAC addresses um, so you can see yeah AB 2E so that's the MAC address so it's using adapter 1 so that's uh, the way to figure that out so um, good stuff so we've got the IP address and uh, yeah it's, it's default gateway is my uh, router in my house so what we can do is uh, browse to this address uh, using the browser 192.168.0.13 so 192.168.0.13 to confirm we can get to the GUI and it looks like we can so accept the risk and continue we get to the username and password uh, of the GUI so specify the new password and this should log us in Once we're in, uh, I guess uh, we're pretty much done with this video. I'll be doing lots of uh, lots more videos on that panel too. But let's close that. That uh, just shows you what's new. I mean, you can see on the left here general information. It's a uh, PAVM, etc. Um, you need to obviously license the uh, the virtual firewall as well. Uh, what we can do is just check maybe DNS or something. So if we go to device services uh, you can see the update server here DNS we can change it from here maybe put in a, a DNS server what I'll do is um, we'll ping out just to make sure that the uh, virtual firewall can get out to the internet and uh, we'll leave it at that uh, for this video so I'll go back to my console and from here I'll do, you cannot do a ping by the way from the browser you can on a lot of other firewalls like Fortinet and uh, uh, the others but um, with this one, Cisco as well um, with this one you've got to do it from the CLI uh, so ping host uh, let's do 4.2.2.2 .2 and we can see it's uh, pinging out to the internet so uh, it's looking good and um, fully up and running as well so uh, that's it for this video and uh, thanks for watching